Hello students, this is Chris Teacher. So usually today we would have a discussion about your new topic, Unit 6. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, I won't see you. So it's a little bit difficult for us to have a discussion, right? So instead, I wanted for us to talk about some of the writing problems I've been seeing in your essays. So, I've looked at your essay books and typed up some of the student writing. And we're going to read it together and check it together today. So this is the essays that you wrote from Unit 5. This is Debating Challenge Unit 1, or Debating Challenge Number 1, Unit 5 Writing. Do we still need libraries? This is the first student's essay. Let's read it together. I think we should have a library. So I will talk about why we need a library. First, sometime I want to go to a quiet place to study, but if library is gone, I can't go to a quiet place. Second, we can read a book. Internet should need a Wi-Fi. So, I think book is better than internet. If library is gone, many people will be sad because they lost a quiet place and many information. So, how many paragraphs did I ask you to write? That's right, at least four, but I said please try to do five. How many paragraphs did this student write? I see one, two paragraphs. Oh no. Hmm. Now, how many reasons did I tell you you should give me for your opinion? That's right, two. How many reasons did this student give? Let's see. First, sometime I want to go to a quiet place to study, but if the library is gone, I can't go to a quiet place. That's one reason. Second, we can read a book. That's the second reason. So there's two reasons. The problem in this essay is not reasons. This essay has two reasons. That's great. The problem is each reason should be its own paragraph. So, this student should move the reason to a new line, okay? Then, this reason should be the first sentence of a whole paragraph. But teacher, this is only one sentence or two sentences. How can I make a whole paragraph from only one sentence? Remember we talked about how to explain, give examples, describe. After you say your reason, you should explain. What does that mean? Why is it important? Who agrees with you? Who disagrees with you? Describe how you can do it. If you do these things, you'll have four, five, maybe six more sentences, and that is a paragraph. Then you can start your new paragraph. This also should be on its own line. Then this sentence will be the first sentence of a whole new paragraph. Again, describe, give examples, and explain. Explain why is it important? Who can do it? Where can you do it? Why should you do it? If you explain these things, you'll have four or five more sentences, and that's a paragraph. So now you have your introduction, and one, two more paragraphs. This final one is actually pretty good. You summarized your idea and then gave one last thought about your opinion on the topic. So this is actually a pretty good conclusion for this book and your level. So if you use this sentence as your introduction, these two as their own paragraphs, and this one as a conclusion, that's four paragraphs, good job. Now that we talked about the structure, the shape of this essay, let's look at some grammar. Oh, no, 
Democrats. Let's look at the first sentence. I think we should have a library. Is that okay? Do you see any mistake? I think it's pretty good. Good job. So, I will talk about why we need a library. Do you see any mistake? What's wrong with this word? This word, so, is the first word of a new sentence. And so, that should be a capital S. Okay? Also, whenever you have this um, introductory adverb, you always need to follow it with a comma. This would be shoot, so, comma. Next, so, I will talk about. Talk about. What is talk? Blah, blah, blah. Is the student talking? No. When we're writing essays, we usually don't say talk about. Instead, you could say write about. That would be correct. But in English essays, it's more usual to say explain. We love the word explain in English, especially in essays. So this sentence should say, so I will explain why we need a library. Okay? Then remember, this is your new paragraph. Go to a new line. Sometime. Sometime. What's wrong with this? Sometimes. Good. Sometimes. I want go. I want go. Do we say I want go? I want see. I want do. No. We say I want to go. I want to see. I want to do. To a quiet place to study. That's a complete sentence. Let's stop there. Capital B, but, comma, if, this should be a slower case I, not a capital I. If the library is gone, then after an if clause, if then, after an if clause, you should have a comma. After the library is gone, comma, I can't go to a quiet place. Why is this P a capital letter? We don't need that. Small p. Okay? Now, here, explain more. Give me more information, okay? Why is it important to go to a quiet place? How can that help you? Second, this is also a new paragraph, okay? Second, comma, we can read a book, okay? Um, the internet, we always say the internet. I don't know why, but internet always takes an article. The internet should need a Wi-Fi. Now, whenever we talk about what does something need, we always say, for example, the internet needs a Wi-Fi. Why? To do what? So you always have to explain when you talk about a need. So the internet, no should, needs Wi-Fi to, to work, to go to help you. I'm not sure what your idea, the writer's idea was, um, but we need an additional um, verb complement in order to finish the sentence. Okay? So, I think books are better than the internet. Remember in class we talked about when we talk about things in general, not this book, but any book. We always use the plural books too. So here we change not a book, not the book, but books. Books are. Because if you say a book is, that means only one. Right? It's not only one book is important. All books are important. Okay? <coughs> if the library was gone, many people would be. We use this grammar, would instead of will, for something that is an idea, okay? So we don't know if it's true that in the future libraries will be gone. Will be means yes, it's true in the future. Would be means maybe, 
I don't know in the future. Okay, so um, if the library was gone, many people would be sad because, capital letter, be careful of this, because, comma, they lost a quiet place and much. Information is a non-countable noun, so you should use much or a lot of. Either one's okay, you can choose. I'm going to write much. Okay? So, together we corrected this essay. Let's look at Chris Teacher's copy. Do you see that each idea is its own paragraph? And can you see that I indented the first uh, line of every paragraph? This is what essays look like in English. Okay? Each idea has a new paragraph, and the first line of each paragraph is indented. Okay? So let's read this together. Libraries are places where many people go to study and read. Some people say libraries are not important, but I disagree. I think we should have libraries, so I will explain why we need them. First, libraries are quiet. Sometimes I want to go to a quiet place to study. But if there are no libraries, then I can't go to a quiet place. Having a quiet place to study is important. It helps students focus, so students will study well. At home, many students have brothers and sisters who may talk to them, and cafes are too noisy. So, libraries are important because they are quiet. Second, we can read books. To use the internet, we need Wi-Fi. Many people don't have Wi-Fi, and it can be expensive. So I think books are better than the internet. People can get books from the internet, and books have a lot of information. Information is very important. If libraries were gone, many people would be sad because they lost a quiet place and much information. So for these reasons, I think we should have libraries. Okay, do you see the changes from this essay to this essay. All right, so next time remember, I want you to have four paragraphs. One, two, three, four. Maybe five if you can think of one more reason, okay? You should have an introduction where you tell me what is the topic and then what is your opinion, okay? This is your essay topic sentence. I want you to have two or three uh, body paragraphs. In the body paragraphs, don't just say your opinion, that's important. But you should, after you say your reason, explain. Why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? Okay? Then maybe you can summarize this idea. Then repeat for your second reason. And then in your conclusion, you can summarize your idea and then add one last idea. So this is the same essay, but this one is longer, stronger, and formatted correctly. So let's try again next time, and I'll be happy to read how you've improved. Goodbye!